Hi, thanks for hanging out. In this video, we're going to take a look at and install this parcel box. Let's get after it. This is a secure parcel box made by a company called Handybox. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is their Black Swan model. It's made of steel, powder coated. It's got a really nice square look to it, which suits us perfectly. The reason why we got the parcel box was thankfully not because we've got an issue with theft in the neighbourhood or anything like that. But when the postman dropped off parcels for us and left them just inside our gate, our 10 month old Labrador here thought that they were a present for her. And we've had a few unfortunate destructions of parcels that we didn't really want to have happen. So the parcel box is a great option for us. The bottom section here, it's got a tumbler lock to it, which we haven't set the combination for yet. You just turn that and that opens the door to be able to allow you to get inside. It gets fixed to a little concrete pad with four bolts that go through the bottom of it. And it's got that little piece of foam in the bottom just to be able to help soften the fall of any parcels that go in. Just simply close up the door again and turn the lock and it's secure. The design of the top itself is quite simple. It's got this simple flap that opens for you to be able to put the parcel in and then close it and allow that to drop down into the bottom. When you do shut it, there's a little bit of weight behind it, but there's some magnets that just hold it shut as well. So it just takes it just a little bit just to be able to open it, which is quite, quite nice. So the size of parcel that you can fit in here is quite impressive. You can get one that's 40 centimetres long, 30 centimetres deep and 18 centimetres thick or 16 inches long, 12 inches deep and 7 inches thick. Installation's pretty straightforward. They've supplied four of these expanding concrete anchors which we'll use through four pre-drilled holes in the bottom of the unit and we'll secure that down to a concrete pad. We've had a look at where we want to install this and so now it's time to go and get that little concrete pad poured. I'm making a form out of some scrap melamine particle board. These types of offcuts are really handy to keep around for projects like this. And it's a good material to use for form work as the concrete doesn't stick to it very easily at all. I'm making a U-shaped form for this project. I'm putting this up against an existing fence and so I didn't need to make a complete box. This went together fairly easily just with some screws just to hold it together in the corner. When I install this, I'll just use some pins in the ground just to help hold it in place. Dig away some of the ground just low enough so that the form is level with the existing ground at the high side. I get the form in place and level it off and then mix up some concrete and pour that in and trail it off. This has had a week to cure now so let's see if we can get this form removed. The edges were a little bit sharp, so I've just got the portable grinder and just knocking those sharp edges down. Concrete skills aren't perfect, that was the first pad I've ever poured so I need a little bit of work just to get it nice and flat but all I did was I just had a few of these little rubber stoppers left over which I've just put under just this front left hand corner of the unit and now that's nice and stable, nice and level, time to mark it out and get it fixed down. I'm 
That's it, all installed, the Black Swan parcel box from Handybox. Everything looks square and neat, really happy with how that turned out. Thanks so much for watching. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And until next time, remember, life's short, so get after it.